The last question was about kissing the Qur'an. We see a lot of people after reading the Qur'an, they close it and they kiss it. And some of them even prostrate on it. So they do this and they do this. And this is also done when you find a piece of bread on the road. You kiss it and you put it on your forehead and you put it in a high place. If you find a $500 bill, you kiss it, you prostrate in it and you put it in your wallet. Excuse me, where did this come from? This is all not part of Islam. However, some scholars stated that kissing the Quran, if it was out of great compassion and love to it and respect, this might be accepted. Yet the, the safest opinion of all is that respecting the Quran is not by kissing it. Respecting the Quran is by doing what Allah told us to do in it. So you kiss it from here till Fajr time, but you deal in riba and you borrow in riba and you lie and you cheat people and you don't pray on time and you don't give your zakat on time and you abuse others. The Quran is cursing you. So if you kiss it from here till the day of judgment, this would not help you. And this is why Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said that nothing among the abstract and uh, not abstract, the uh, concrete or uh, things that are not alive. Nothing among the jamadat is to be kissed except the black stone. So you go to the grave of the Prophet ﷺ and you start kissing and mushing all the windows and, and the, the, uh, the doors and the, uh, this is a, a, an innovation. You go to his pulpit and you kiss it, this is an innovation. You go to the Kaaba and embrace it and kiss it. This is an innovation. Only the black stone. Among the living, you can do that with your mom and dad without any problem. Insha'Allah.